Okay, hi. In this um, screencast I'm going to show you how to set your keyboard language um, on your computer in order to be able to type French accented letters really easily into your PowerPoints, your Word documents and in OneNote. So the first thing to do is to click on the Start menu and then Find Control Panel. Okay, within the Control Panel I want you to click on Clock, Language and Region and then obviously we're going to click on region and language because what we want to do is to toggle the, um, the languages and in the um, options that come up here in the tabs click on keyboard and languages okay so then you should be able to go to change keyboards click on that so what you see is just a general um, screen coming up and what we actually want to do is change this top bit here um, so that you have the United States International Keyboard installed and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, the first thing is to look down further and to click on Add. And this is an input language so there's lots of languages that you can actually set your computer to type in but um, we want one that's sort of in the English section but you can see it's the United States and yours might be um, closed like that and to open it just click on the plus and the keyboard may be closed but we're going to open it and you can see that I've ticked United States International that's the one you need to select okay and then that should come up here for you so that's all you need to do now in the language bar you can actually choose to have it um, showing all the time um, or hidden. Um, it's actually quite useful to have it in the taskbar or on the desktop so you can see it and you can sort of toggle between the two. So I'm just going to leave mine docked in the taskbar. Okay, so that's as simple as that, but let's actually see how and you do this and what you need to what you need to actually um, type when you want to make, make these accents. So I'm going to open Word and show you Word. It works in all of them so you could open PowerPoint, you could do this in OneNote and it's really fantastic because it helps you to insert the correct accented letters which are so important in French. Okay so just say I wanted um, to create an E with an accent aigu or an acute accent. I'm going to type in um, Oh, and first thing I need to do is make sure this is my language bar down here. It's actually set on English Australia, so it's not going to do it with that. So I'm going to need to click on the language bar, and you should have that international United States one there. You need to actually s select that one. Right, to get the accented E, I'm going to type in an apostrophe, and then press E, and that comes up. So just to show you... Um, what the two letters are again what you need to press. I'll change this back to Australia. So I typed in that apostrophe and then I just simply typed in an E and it automatically went to the accented one. Okay so other letters, that that, uh, that accent, the, the acute accent you can use for um, other letters as well that require that, that E but I'll just change it back to the United States International and to make the, the Grave ac accent, so I'll type in um, the opposite accent, it's right up the top next to the one button. So that one, an E, and it creates the Grave E. You can use that for the A as well, that's very common. Alright, well what about those circumflex accents that you, you probably use for an O, for example? Well if you have a look above your 6 button, key you'll see there's a, the circumflex accent so to get to that one you need to press shift and the 6 and then for example an O if that's the letter you want so let me just show you type out what I did there change it back to Australia I went I said um, shift plus 6 and then typed in the O and that created the, the circumflex accent so that's really fantastic. Um, this works, you know, on the internet if you wanted to put in, um, if you're searching Google for example and you wanted to search for a French word and it had an accent, this would work. Um, and finally, the other one that's quite common to do is the C uh, with the cedilla. 
So again, you just type in your apostrophe, just like I did here for the first one. Apostrophe C, and it creates that letter. So that's really great. Now I'll just um, show you how that might work, say, in PowerPoint. And I want to type something in this particular box, and I'll just check that my my language bar is working on the right one. Now it seems to default back to Australia, so I'm going to change it to that one. And then I might type in um, a, a, a word that has an accent that you see fairly often in French, and another word that comes up quite often, École et les Français. Voilà. Okay, thank you.